Welcome to Wilson Central. This is your news. The Pulse. Hey everybody, this is Focus on Faculty. I am Noah and this is Commander Case. So, Commander, what made you want to be an ROTC instructor? Well, Cadet Beck, um, I enjoyed the Navy. I spent 21 and a half years in the United States Navy. Flew aircraft for a majority of those years. And a lot of the stuff I did when I was flying aircraft was instructing. So, what specifically did you do in the Navy? You said you flew? Yes, joined the Navy to fly aircraft, which I did. I flew the ETC Hawkeye, have over 4,500 hours flying the Hawkeye and other training aircraft. I was also uh, did several tours not flying, uh, which involved uh, working with joint staff, uh, working on the ship just as what's called an assistant strike officer. I actually became an officer of the deck and a command duty officer underway where I got to actually steer the aircraft carrier and drive it around. And also, my last tour, I was air boss on an aircraft carrier where I controlled flight deck, hangar deck, fuel systems, and all the airspace uh, within five miles and 3,000 feet of the ship. So you're pretty much a principal for the air, air wing of the ship? Yes, it was a very fun job. I had about 800 people working for me. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, what, is the hard, what has been the hardest part about being a new teacher at Wilson Central? The biggest thing is culture shock. I just left uh, the United States Navy. Things are a little regimented there. A lot different than when you enter high school. But it's been a lot of fun. Uh, this, the administration here, the teachers, the students, all top class. I have, I'm enjoying coming to work. And that is something not a lot of people say is that they look forward to coming to work every day that I do. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Favorite flavor of ice cream actually is uh, would be chocolate chip cookie dough. Chocolate chip cookie dough? Did you ever get to eat that on the carrier? Yes, yeah, so actually we would have ice cream days and that was a big thrill on the ship because usually you don't get frozen ice cream. That would happen maybe once a month or so. Oh, wow. And, okay, and last question before I leave. So what do you want to do with this unit? Well, the ROTC unit here at Wilson Central has a very good reputation. My goal is to continue on that strong foundation that it has and uh, keep going forward. And I think we're going to get there. We've got a great group of cadets and, like I said, an excellent administration here at Wilson Central. All right. And an outstanding Master Chief, by the way. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Commander Case. This, was, this has been an awesome interview. Back to you guys in the news. I'm Chris, welcome to What's In Your Headphones. This week we're gonna be telling you about Bonnaroo. They announced their lineup last year. You got plenty of good people on this list. You got Billy Joel, Alabama Shakes, Trample by Turtles, Kendrick Lamar, Slayer, Spoon, Run the Jewels, Robert Plant, and Florence and the Machine. And while you're trying to catch all those bands, you're gonna wanna survive, right? That's a good thing. So you need to bring toilet paper, hand sanitizer, um, swim clothes, those types of things so you will not die. And <laughs> bring a portable phone charger so that your phone doesn't die. Um, when you're at Bonnaroo, the water fountain is your life source. You will go there to cool down, you will go there to talk to people, to meet up with people, and you're gonna wanna keep your phone, money, identification, Keep those things in plastic bags so that they won't get wet and you don't have to leave them sitting out where strangers can just reach over and grab them. Bonnaroo is not a concert, contrary to popular belief. It is an experience. You want to walk around, plan very loosely, catch a few acts that you want to see, and then just explore everything in between trying to find new bands. Make sure you drink plenty of water. It gets hot out there. You're going to want to bring some sort of refillable plastic water bottle or a camelback. Not only do you stay hydrated, but by using a refillable bottle, you also don't contribute to the massive amounts of plastic that always gets left behind at these festivals. Hey Victoria, I wonder how many plastic bottles we throw away here each day at school? You know, Holly, I'm not too sure. I know our vending machines have plastic bottles in them. Let's check it out. Just in the North Hallway, we saw 16 bottles, and most of those are probably being thrown away, not recycled. <laughs> That's right, Holly, but we can change that. We have lots of students and faculty here at Central that care enough about this wasteful habits. They'll be posting lists in the hallways of where you can recycle your plastic bottles. 
I've seen containers in teachers' rooms already, like this one. The best way to cut down on plastic waste is to not buy single-use water bottles in the first place. But if you do, try to recycle and reuse them. Your homework for this week is to go home and think about what your favorite album is. Uh, today, a lot of people listen to their music just as a single or a one digital download, but albums in their own right can be an art form. So just what's your favorite album as a whole? Put those in lockers 489 and locker 1705. They're decorated, you can't miss them. <clears throat> Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome to this week's Tyson's Culinary Tips. This week, I am going to be teaching you how to play the piano well enough to pique a woman's interest. It's not that hard at all. You take your hand right here, you play the black keys because the black keys are way cooler and makes you look like you know what you're doing. So you just find, an, find a black key, any black key, and you play it right there. Once you've played a note, you're going to then take your hands and make them real wide to show your woman how large your hands are. And then you're going to play it on the piano. It sounds real nice. So then once you find that, that already sounds pretty pleasant. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take the same thing and you're going to do it over on the bottom. And then what you got to do, you just, you just play it, anything. You don't really have to find any specific. And then you just put your hand in random spots. No matter what, it will always sound cool. This has a little bit of a oriental feel to it. And it's just pleasant to the ears. It's also good to look like you're contemplating something while playing because women like a man that thinks. And then lastly, what you're gonna do is in between your notes, kind of diddle with your fingers right here, so. Always on the black keys, and if you just follow that right there, and nothing more, women will come to you with great speed, and they will never stop pursuing you as long as you have your fingers on the black keys and you diddle with the fingers. Thank you. One, two, three, oh! Is there a finger on it? Culinary? That's not the right word. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who you were <laughs> No, I still have like Pop-Tart in my mouth. Okay. Hello.